He's not going to be able to compete at high ranks now. But uh, uh, high play. I wouldn't say high ranks. So you're still going to be able to get your rank one with him, even after high MMR comes out. But at high level of play, like competitive play, yeah, you won't see him. He's just not there. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I might not be able to get you all the way over here to me. Yeah, I will. I mean, he's in a good place, though. Not the best, but a good place. Yeah, I agree. He's not in a bad place. Hey, buddy. Where do you play at? Thank you. When is MMR coming? Uh, Tuesday. What will MMR do? It'll make your games more 50-50. So at higher, I would say at mid-high level of play. So like rank one won't really, again, it will be really weird. Your games as like survivor solo queue will probably be a lot better. Your low level players will probably have a lot better time because they'll be going against killers equal to their skill. Um, it'll be interesting. My thought process is killer might become a little harder for mid tier and killer will become really hard for a uh, high tier play. Uh, okay. For example, we might not get survivors to goof off like this and get caught. Wait till Lamar drops before learning nurse. Not doing it at red ranks. I would. That's how I basically was learning nurse. Thanks, dude. Playing with fire. Cool. All right, let's pick up. Your rank one Michael will be harder. Not necessarily. It depends on how many games you've been winning while at rank one. Again, there's like rank one. You probably have like half the player base at rank one. And I can guarantee you half the player base is not high elo, like high tier play. I guarantee it. Because you still have high, you still have half of the rank one player base complaining about gen rushing when it doesn't exist. Like if you're complaining about gen rushing and there wasn't four brand new parts or shit, then sorry, but you didn't create pressure. Or you got unlucky. And it's okay. Getting unlucky happens, but... That's kind of like the scenario that people put themselves into. I wonder, is there a way I can maybe shoot this where I get a lot of value? Like, any way? Oof. Lucky. Got auto-pulled into that with something fierce. Oh my god, I forgot I was on this side. I'll break it. We'll break it. How can you play killer casually? That shit demands 100% of my attention. Uh, just time. Again, we're not playing against... Uh, this is one of the things where, like, we're not playing against high MMR right now, right? We still have a gen up. We'll probably lose one here soon because that chase lasted forever. Uh, just because I was goofing off. But they're not strafing. They're not looking behind them. Their looping skills aren't crazy. It's, like, those kind of things. You just pick up on it. So it doesn't demand 100% of my time. Like, my focus. What do you think of purposely deranking as killer? I think it's pretty shitty. But... It's not my job to tell you how to play the game. You should play the game however you find fun. Nice touch. You want to do that? Are you sure? Okay. Ooh, I almost tagged her on that. That would have been really bad for her. Did she stay here?
Here we go. I never get unlucky gets our CPD. Our CPD as Billy. Son of a... Yeah, exactly. And then, like, you would lose that game, and some people would be like... They would see three gens pop, but yet you didn't get in chase for two minutes. It sucks. Yeah, gens went by fast, but... You know, you gotta take... You're gonna lose some games. That's about how I look at it. He's right here. Oh, damn. I thought he would hug the wall. You should really leave this area, buddy. Thank you. Latency would say that it's right on top of him and would need to be a little behind. Okay. What's up, dude? Give me them 360s. Crazy fiend, you. Cool. The survivors debag me when they drop a pallet. I also become more toxic as a killer. But what do you mean by you become more toxic? Because teabagging and tunneling and camping, I don't see as toxic. I mean, if you leave them slugged on the ground, I mean, I guess that's toxic. I agree to that. <laughs> Fucking nasty shot, though. We'll just use that to stop her from making ground then. <laughs> Fucking damn. Huh, get dicked, right? <laughs> Cause that was fucking nasty. Come here, buddy. What can I say, man? My Death Slinger is just fucking on point today. I didn't know this was called Dead by Daylight. Let's go. This is gonna be hard. <sighs> There's nothing more satisfying than getting salt just because you played well and responding to salt with K. <laughs> or disagree with them, and that's always funny too. Like, damn, yes, dude, I'm so bad. Shit. So he had unbreakable. Come on, get back over here. Let's go. <laughs> now what will be funny is if we get out of this thing and they're like, oh god, she has uh, no ed. Whoa, what? I got sworn that was a hit. Uh, all right. Oh, okay, cool. I pulled that one too much. I was waiting for power struggle. That would have been sweet. Do you have any tips for Deslinger? It's a mostly a time investment killer. You just play him so much to the point where like you're point and click. It's like a first person shooter. You point and click, hit the target. And typically you're looking left and right. You're not looking up and down unless you're at a loop. You typically keep it just one way. You're not looking to, oh shit, swipe down. That was a little weird though. I thought that one was on point. Cool. You're welcome, Mark. Even if no ed doesn't get used, they complain. That does happen sometimes. And I find it funny when it does. They healed up fully. 
You guys are right here. Blood was right there. Hey, buddy. Re. Three is re. I don't know where she is, but she wandered off to. Hello? Weird movements these guys have had. Come here. Give me that ankle. <laughs> What's going on, Toad? How you doing? Nasty shot, though, right? Dude, my, I'm telling you, my Death Slinger is pretty spooky. Not always. Like, I have bad games with Death Slinger, but I feel like that's any ranged killer. Oh, she's right here. Okay. Cool. Come here. Where did you think you're going? Where? Nowhere. <laughs> Deathlinger actually has some sick skins. Yeah, Deathlinger I think was overall a well-designed killer. His 1v1 can be a bit oppressive sometimes, but you also have to be able to hit your shots, so... And his 1v4 sucks unless you're immensely good in your 1v1. Cool. Really clean game. We just land shot after shot after shot after shot, though. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, that makes sense. See, like, we were able to tell this game that these guys weren't high MMR. You can typically just pick away from it right at the beginning of the game, on depending on how the game flow is. Do you think your comment about time investment for accurate is accurate on all range killers? Yes. There's no killer you're going to pick up range-wise and be like, I'm a fucking god. You pick up Wraith and you'd be like, shit, I'm winning already. You pick up someone like Destiny, you're probably going to lose your first few games. Are you happy about MMR? Not really. I don't think it belongs in Dead by Daylight, but there's no stopping it. So there's no point of me sitting here bitching about it anymore.